Was the taxi operator targeted by criminals who wanted his van? That's what police officers are trying to ascertain as investigations continue into the Friday evening murder of Odner Estevern. The 40-year-old Haitian national was shot just before 5 p.m. as he approached the intersection of Complex Avenue and Jones Street in a hotspot of the south side of Belize City. He was rushed to the KHMH but perished while undergoing surgery. Around 4.59 p.m. Uh, Mr. Odner uh, Stever, Stevern, 40 years, a Haitian naturalized Belizean of Nutmeg Street, um, received gunshot wound to the left side of his abdomen. Uh, he later succumbed to his injuries at the Carlyusha Memorial Hospital. Mr. Um, Stevner, or Stevern, sorry, um, was driving his gray Dodge van. And when he approached the kind of complex Avenue on Jones Street, that is when he was shot upon by a lone male person and later succumbed to his injuries. Odner was living in Belize since 2003 until his untimely death on Friday evening. He'd made his living working as a taxi driver for the popular dollar vans in the Lake Independence area. While on his routine route, a gunman opened fire on him. I don't really understand anything about it because there is no understanding because the man just died like that. Did he ever complain to you guys about, you know, having any problems with anybody out there or that anyone wanted to threaten his life or anything like that? No, no. There was none of that. None of that. Um, Mankur is a friendly person. Everybody in, say, in the street is saying, like, the man who deserves to die like that. He, you know, do nothing to nobody. Here is the help, here is the give. Yeah, and then they just did that to him. By several accounts, it was a lone gunman that took aim at the Haitian cab driver, but police say that they are looking for several persons in connection with this latest homicide. Assistant Commissioner of Police Desiree Magdalena says the police officers at a nearby checkpoint in the area opened fire at the culprits before they escaped. Police were able to engage the, the shooter, so police had fired shots at the shooter. Police actually saw persons so, um, as a result of the ongoing operation. No motive has been determined as yet, but it is suspected that um, the vehicle would have been used to commit a robbery, but um, that has not been established as yet. So the motive remains unknown at this time. This investigation continues. Um, we're seeking three persons in relation to this, and uh, the investigation into this matter continues, as I said earlier. Aside from his family and friends here in Belize, Odner leaves behind a wife and two children who currently reside in the U.S. Meanwhile, the family is yet to finalize funeral arrangements. We don't have an uh, answer yet for that. We don't know if we, he's going to bury here or if he's going to back to the country, but we are still working on that. Dwayne Moody for News 5.